Hello, people. I'm Detroit Miracle. Yes, and indeed. Well, it seems like another major war has started, and that very war is happening all over social media right now because of the after effects of the recent election. Well, there is a cult out there, a huge cult of women that don't like the results of that election at all. So they're blaming men, they're blaming the world, you know, they're blaming the television sets. They're placing the blame game mostly there in, the, in those places. They, it's blame game time. But it seems like their focus is on blaming men for their results that they didn't find to their liking. So, like, people might perceive that as being like, well, they're sore losers. When anybody loses, they usually react in that kind of fashion. Because why take it personal unless you think it is? You get me? And that election wasn't personal. It was on the election involved plans the better, more proficient, safer plan in which the whole American population finds agreeable. So, you know, you look at each candidate's plan or their huge platforms as far as what they intend on doing and, in fact, what they have already done. So you pick one of two, but you might find that both of their plans have some of the things that you want, so you're split and undecided it might be like you know well it works out for me well either way no matter who's president so some people might have it like that of a perspective but like of the whole population when you have so many people that are entitled to their opinion and choices you'll find that they will make them and many will not find that agreeable with them or will not agree with that as well. But nevertheless, they had the right to vote. They had the right to voice their opinion, vote the way they wanted, and live their lives to the full. <laughs> yeah. Us guys are reasonable guys. Us YouTuber guys are reasonable guys. I haven't met or listen to one completely unreasonable male black guy or unreasonable white guy or unreasonable Hispanic guy, especially on social media. And I'm not talking about the political discussions aside from that, because that's the same thing that has always been over and over and over again. It's tradition. It works better for some than others. So I wouldn't like get all off into a type of discussion about, you know, core politics down to the tiniest, up to the largest and most steepest hill to climb because it ain't necessary. What? Somebody said what? They're calling the women, YouTubers, hens, roosters. Woo, woo. <laughs> Yeah, they, a lot of them are yelling. It's crazy. There's many YouTubers. I'm broad and brave, but I'm not going to uh, say that they're not black women. They're beautiful black women, though. That's what's getting me. I'm like, how can these pretty black women be this angry? And they're taking this seriously. They're not, and they're not pulling their punches. So if somebody got up in the morning, slipped down the steps, and broke their neck and their legs and didn't make it out to vote, then they'll have a huge problem with that. Or if somebody couldn't afford to miss a full day's pay, and sometimes that full day is a make or break me, people. You know that. So nevertheless, some women are coming across as being, I wouldn't say clucking ducks, but howling wolves. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. The only difference between a female wolf and the male wolf is the female's eyes light up when she look up and say that, Ow! 
look like it turned to yellow or red, something like that. So that would put it seriously. Yeah, yeah. Wait, when you mix sociology, psychology, politics, religion, you get a chaotic mixture, and people are gonna be mad at any other thing too. They're not just mad at one thing. People will find a million reasons to be mad other than from the relax the election results for president, that is. Yeah, you know, people will find a million excuses to not like somebody or something or some religion or some color, some ethnic, some culture shock. You know how the hippies did it in the sixties? How far did the hippies go? Did they? I think they made it into the pre-Vietnam era, right? Like, back in the day, you could be a hipster, cool. Throw on some shades, let your hair grow, and walk around, you know, speak with people, like, to the most pleasant, cool. Like, what it be like, Holmes? What it is, dog? You know, that's cool. So if you respect somebody like that, then they respect you like that, but they'll say, wait a minute, the black shades and the outfit is giving them away. That's a hippie. Yeah, hippie is an entire culture that came before hip hop. It came before other cultures. It came around it came around the time after Alvis had blown up. You know, it came around the time when the Beatles were the biggest act on the planet. Yeah. The Beatles, and then who else? The Eagles, the Rolling Stones, and much, much more, including the rock band Kiss. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. People, that's all culture, and everybody has their opinion on it, and some people like it, some don't. But they do have the rights, ladies. You hear me? You all have rights, we have rights, everybody has rights. Yeah, plain and simple. We respect your rights, you respect our rights, so we all respect each other's rights. Peace be on to you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'd appreciate it if you would give me those likes, comments, and please subscribe to me, Detroit Miracle. Peace out.